Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to automatically find the best portfolio mix to use in the assignments for Finance 351 and 481. If you're trying to find the maximum Sharpe ratio, this will tell you where that is. Um, but the assignment is asking for the maximum within these parameters. So you would, you would really be reporting whether it's 100, 90, 80, 70, whatever. This will tell you like exactly if it's like 72 or 65 it'll give you the exact best portfolio weight but then you just report whichever one's closest so if you, it gives you 65 well if it gives you like 68 then that'd be close to 70 if it gives you like 61 that'd be close to 60 and so you just assign whichever value is the closest so what we want to do is basically just create a, one more column from the previous assignment and so we can just drag over in the way that we formed all those cells, dragging it over should keep all the formulas valid. So you see we still reference the cells that we want to reference over here. So this is all okay. Now, basically this column right now is just a repeat. Column O is a repeat of column N. We have 0 and 0 and then all of these numbers are the same as the one next to them. We're going to change this 0 weight we don't know what we're going to change it to. We just know that whatever we change it to, we want to make sure that this sharp ratio at the bottom is the biggest it can be. So if we look over here, the biggest one on the list right now looks to be this one right here. And that's a weight of 70? 80. That's a weight of 80. So whatever we assign should probably be close to 80. We'll figure it out right now, though. So if we click on this cell, 01, and we go to the data tab at the top. If you don't have the data tab, you can get it under Excel options. This is for Excel 2007. Go to add-ins and go to solver add-in and make sure that that's active. So you, if it's under the inactive, you would click on it down here and you can hit OK and it'll add it in for you. So we need to use solver it'll open up this box. We want to say set target cell, which in our case is the sharp ratio. We're going to set the start sharp ratio to the maximum we can possibly be. We want to get that sharp ratio as high as possible by changing cell 01. For me it's 01. By changing the weights. We could put some constraints in there if we said we don't want it to be any bigger than 100% or something, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So we don't need any constraints. So we're trying to set our sharp ratio to as high as it can be by changing 01, the weights. We hit solve. Solver has found a solution. All constraints and optimally con optimality conditions are satisfied. So we want to keep that solution. Hit OK. Thank you, Solver. Now the weight is 0 0.78. And that's 78%, which is pretty close to 80. That's what we thought it would be. And our sharp ratio is maximized at 33.3, .3, which is just barely more than the 80% one that was 33.27. So now we know that the best sharp ratio we could get would be a 78% in the first stock, which would leave us something like 22% in the second stock. So, But when reporting it for the assignment, we're going to report at 80% because that's within the parameters of the assignment. Great. Thanks for watching.